This is Amsterdam Airport, and I am ready to go anywhere. The only problem is, I don't have a ticket yet. So let's ask a random flight attendant where she's going, and I'll just book a flight to wherever that is. Are you guys flight attendants? No, I'm not a flight attendant. Oh, you don't fly in the air? No, no, no I'm not. I work as a gate agent. Uh, oh, uh, you're in a rush or something? Uh, I was looking for the train, but... Oh, you're, oh, you're not working? Are you not flying out here today? Uh, no, I'm just done. Why can I not find someone? <laughs> to Mallorca. To Mallorca? Oh, Spain, no yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys know if there are still tickets available? No, it's totally full. Are you a flight attendant? I am. Oh, that's amazing. Dude, where are you flying I'm out to today? To London. To London? I'm going to be going to um, Sao Paulo this evening. This evening? So from yeah. London to Sao Paulo? Yeah. Brazil? Yes. Oh, damn. That's a long trip, eh? <laughs> Do you know if there are still flights available for that? There should be. There should be to Sao Do Paulo. You come? <laughs> yeah, if I could. Do you think that's possible? Yeah, I guess so. Oh damn, wait, those tickets are really, really expensive, unfortunately. Like, yeah. that's 857 euros. Okay, Sao Paulo, Brazil, that would have been so dope, but those tickets are just very, very expensive. I think we're just under 5,000 subscribers as I'm recording this right now, so I don't think that is possible for me to do just yet. But hey, hopefully in the future. Are you, I was wondering, are you guys flying out somewhere or are you guys just done with that with work? We're going to fly. We're going to Mallorca. Mallorca, what yeah. time are you guys leaving? Flight is at 6 oh, five 5. 6 or 5. Over 6, yeah. Oh wait, I actually just spoke to one of your colleagues, I think. Oh. And he was like, nah, the flight is full. I'm going to check one more yeah, time. Yeah, Oh. I can't book it anymore. Do you guys know if it's full? Yeah, uh, it didn't. I know it's a weird thing to do. I'm so sorry. Thank you guys for being so kind. <laughs> no, it's not full. I think you can go upstairs at departure. Yeah. yeah. The desk one. And desk one? Over there. Yeah. The one. Okay. There's the people from the okay. who do the tickets. There you can check oh, in. Are you guys going there as well? Yeah, we're, we're going, going up, to the but then we go Okay, to can I follow you guys? Yeah. Oh, that would be so dope. I'm a big fan of Mallorca. It's a beautiful island. I was there when I was like 16, if I remember. But hey, going back there, that would be cool. So where is that? ticket sale. I was wondering, is it still possible for me to book a flight to Mallorca at 6? Uh, yeah. 149, yeah, sure, that's fine. Yeah, yeah do you think I can still make yeah. that though? Like it's... Within two minutes, you're the best, that's amazing. I can't believe this is actually working out, I'm going to Mallorca. Amazing, thank you so much, you're the best. But have a good day guys, have a good day, bye bye. All right guys, let's check in for my flight to Mallorca, Spain. <laughs> took a little bit longer than expected. Of course, they decided to check my bag right now at the moment that I really don't have time for it. But the flight leaves in exactly one hour. I just gotta find out where my gate is at. Mallorca. I love being back at the board. Okay, it's a 10 minute walk, D82. Obviously, there are a couple of things that I gotta take care of. I don't really know where I'm gonna decide to stay. And obviously, I gotta complete a couple of challenges at my destination, but I'll tell you guys more about those when I'm there. Now, after doing a little bit more research, I realized that the island is massive. Like, it is really big, and there are like beautiful spots to go swimming. There are caves, there are like insane activities, like, beautiful island. I'm definitely gonna need a car. So, what I just did is basically rent one that should be waiting for me at the airport so that's good I'll at least have a car and be able to move around a little bit so yeah okay I'm glad I got that sorted the only thing I still have left to do is the hotel we are about to leave but luckily I just found a hotel that looks really nice it's close to the harbor I believe from the photos what I can see this looks like an Really, really nice hotel. I'm very happy with that. Next stop, Palma de Mallorca, Spain. I just got a song from one of the flight attendants. That is so nice of them. Just so you guys know, apparently I'm not allowed to film the flight attendant staff here during the flight on the aircraft. So uh, yeah, that's why I'm not really interacting with them, just so you guys know. But they, they were awesome. The girls that helped me out and the guys were incredible. Super nice, very kind. Welcome to Mallorca, Spain, everyone. It is 8.30 right now, and it is pretty warm from what I've seen so far. It's like just a little over 10 degrees, that's fine. All I gotta do now is make my way to the rental company and pick up that car. 
I'm here to pick up my car. If you want, like, there's a difference of like 30 euros a day if you want to have a C class, a brand new one. It's like the new, it's the new model of 2024. Mm. This is totally fine, I think. You're gonna give me a free upgrade. Do you want to try it out? No problem. The, C the Mercedes C class. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll what? No, I'll take that upgrade any day of the week. Yeah, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. That is really nice. This trip is off to an incredible start. I got myself a free upgrade, even though I booked the cheapest car. Okay, I'm just gonna randomly press the button so it starts, which so basically unlocks to see which one it is. Oh, this <laughs> What is life right now? This car is absolutely beautiful. I feel like a pimp. I feel like a rapper, a gangster. <laughs> I don't know, this is just so cool. So there are a couple things I want to do here during my stay at Mallorca. One being take a swim at the most beautiful beach hair on the island. Two, have a drink with a stranger simply because it's just fun. I want to connect with some locals or other people that are here traveling. Three, explore the oldest building on the island. I feel like that is something that has been missing a little bit. I want to do some more cultural stuff as well and bring you guys along with that. And last but not least, by far my favorite thing of the video probably, have three local dishes and I love Spanish food. So that is going to be very good. All right, I think I've made it to the right place. This should be my hotel. We just hit 5,000 subscribers. Like, you guys are quite literally turning my childhood dream into reality. And the fact that we're doing this is just mind blowing to me. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Right now, I'm in the lobby of the hotel, enjoying myself a nice little sangria, burrata, pasta with red pesto. I'm just gonna munch down all of this food right now. And then, after that, I'm gonna go to bed. And then, tomorrow, we're gonna complete all of the tasks and explore the island. So, I guess I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I just slept like a baby. I made myself some coffee. Let me check outside. Open up these curtains. Yeah, it, it is a little bit chilly, but hey, there are literally no clouds whatsoever. I got the sea and a little harbor right over here. So I think it's time to have some breakfast and then hop in my pimp ride and explore the island. <laughs> I still can't believe I'm driving such a fancy car right now. Today's plan is easy. Obviously, I got a list with a task that I'm gonna do today to explore the island and show you guys around. And the first one on there is to explore the oldest building on the island, which is the Royal Palace of Almudena. It was built in the 10th century for the governor back then. And even though most of the current palace has had restorations and modifications, some parts of the original construction can still be seen in the highest tower. Like the bronze sculpture of the Archangel Gabriel is still part of the original construction and hasn't been touched yet since the 10th century. Like, how cool is that? Look what I found, an orange tree. God, look at that. I don't know why I'm getting so excited about an orange tree. Obviously, I can't pick them. Well, I think I'm not allowed to do that, so I just won't. Fortunately, I can't really go inside the palace or up the tower or whatever, because it is closed on Mondays. But hey, it is what it is, I guess, as part of doing these type of challenges. So now, instead, I think we're gonna move on and try one of those first local dishes. <laughs> Made it to Santo Cristo, which is apparently an old bakery here in Mallorca since 1910. And Danny, one of you guys, a subscriber, someone who follows me on Instagram, actually lived here in Mallorca for a couple of years and recommended me to have ensaimada, which is made of flour, water, mother dough, and sugar, obviously, as you can see. And apparently there's not a super traditional recipe for it. Everyone does it a little bit differently. It's about the feeling, the taste. I'm curious how it is. Oh, that was very sweet. Very nice. But I would share it. Like, this is way too big just for me. I'm gonna have like a massive sugar rush if I finish this entire thing. But hey, it, it is good for sure. I'm gonna say three out of five stars. That's a good rating, I think. All right, hear me out. There are many, many beautiful beaches here on the island. 
and I've tried looking for the most beautiful one, but there are way too many lists and there are just way too many beaches. There's not one number one spot. So after doing a lot of research, I've come up with a top two. The first one is Sa Colabra Beach. And looking at these photos, let's be honest, it's beautiful. Even though it's mid-January, it's gonna be cold in the water. Who wouldn't wanna take a swim there? I know I do. Second one is Kaya de Dea, which is, looking at these photos, also amazing. Like. I can't choose between those two. So instead of just heading to one, I'm gonna try to swim in both and give it a rating to decide which is the best water, which is the best beach. Start the epic travel montage with Spanish music. I gotta walk the last part because apparently after this part, it is not allowed to drive anymore so we're gonna walk a little bit yo <laughs> what guys the beach is gone like there is no <laughs> there is no beach right now there is supposed to be a beach right here but the oh the water is super heavy yo what whoa <laughs> what okay this is beautiful okay i'm gonna walk over these rocks and get a nice little shot. I got a couple more videos planned for you guys this year. Every week uploading one video, so yeah, I can't break anything this year. Okay, yeah, this is so cool. Check this out, guys. Man, this is a beautiful bay for sure, but I genuinely don't think it's smart for me to swim right here. Yeah, there's way too many rocks. And as you can see, the water is really, really strong. So yeah, I'm, I'm willing to do a lot for, for content, but if my head ends up on one of these rocks, I'm probably gonna be laying here for a couple days and we wouldn't want that either. So, uh, wow, but the view up here, God damn, this, this whew, I would love to have some food here during summer. If you look closely, you can also see some caves right there. Now let's drive back up the mountain and have some food. I am starving. This looks so incredibly nice. I'm hyped for it. And I think I'm just gonna take menu of the day. Mm, really good, very thick, very tasty. Sir, what type of soup is it? It's really good. It's potato. potatoes. Potatoes, ah, it's really nice, thank you. Now this next dish is called Sobrasada. It wasn't on the daily menu, but I ordered it separately because Danny, who lived here, recommended it. Apparently it's a mix between pork, chili powder, and paprika, Iberico pork. Okay. Mm, it is kind of fatty, but I do like the detail of the chili powder a lot. That definitely makes it. I can definitely understand why people like this, and apparently it is like something very traditional here on Mallorca. So yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I tried this out. This is good. Now, last but not least, we got some meatballs in soup. As you guys can see, we're eating a lot of meat today. Very nice meatballs. The taste and the spices are very different from what I'm used to. I think this is my favorite. This one is gonna be a four out of five stars. Obviously, I still got a couple of things on my task list. I still gotta find a stranger to have a drink with. I have a third local food, which is the most Definitely gonna be paella. And then obviously I still gotta go to Sacolabra, the other beautiful beach. But right now it is a pretty far drive and then I also gotta head back to the hotel. But tomorrow, I made it. Sacolabra Beach. I woke up at 6 a.m. to get here. Drove for an hour and a half. But this place is absolutely beautiful. Like this is the type of beach that you only see in postcards. Oh God. <laughs> The water is getting close. Getting up so early was definitely worth it. I drove through the mountains like left, right, left, right. Saw so many animals like sheep, donkeys. It was just amazing. And now I think it's finally time to do it. <laughs> my shoes. Oh my God, this is gonna be cool though, guys. I brought a towel luckily from the hotel. Got a GoPro. Here we go. These rocks are hurting my feet. Oh my God, it's pretty damn cool as well which isn't helping here we go Ooh. Ooh. i want to see how clear this water is I don't need 
coffee after that, guys. My God. It's cold, but you get that massive adrenaline hit. I think during summer, this is oh, super busy and packed. Like right now, it is abandoned when I got here. But during summer, I think this is a beautiful place to go. Right now, I rate it five out of five. Oh, my feet. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. When I was at the airport two days ago and decided to do this challenge, I never thought I would be here. This is the most beautiful thing about doing this channel with you guys, getting out of my comfort zone. Just look where I am. Like, what is my life right now? I am so proud that I decided to take a leap of faith. And right now, I'm gonna get dressed again. <laughs> My feet are absolutely freezing right now, so I'm really glad I brought an extra pair of socks. I'm gonna do double socks right now. Camera in one hand, wet swimming shorts, and a towel in the other. Luckily, I do have a plan for the rest of today. I'm gonna have a drink with a stranger, obviously. Still have that on my list. I haven't really done that this video. And also, I need to have some paella before I leave this island. <laughs> What is your favorite paella restaurant? Uh, there is Sacranca. Restaurante Sacranca. I think it is closed because there's a lot of construction going on here. Or it's not, it could be open. I'm liking the vibes here. Seems very chill, nice place. Very Spanish for sure, like very authentic. Not super touristy or anything, except for the flags here at the side. But hey, I'll, I'll forgive them for that. It's the paella. But that is by far the best thing about ordering paella. They serve it right in front of you at the table. This is the Valencia one, which means it is mixed with both seafood and chicken. It's a very classic dish here in Spain. I'm oh, so good. <laughs> the rice is cooked so well. All of the flavors, even though it might sound weird to some people like, seafood plus chicken that that might seem like a strange combination but believe me the way they do it here in spain the flavors blend in i don't know what i'm doing with my hands but they they, they blend in together so well which makes it an incredible day now that was the perfect way to end this trip Unfortunately, I didn't have a drink with a stranger, but I have to head to the airport right now. Otherwise, I'm going to miss my flight, but I still really enjoyed making this video and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well. And if you have, please subscribe because this year, 2024, I'm uploading one video every single week. I'm going all in on YouTube. Chris takes off is hopefully going to take off. That would be really cool. So yeah, if you want to get to know me better, I suggest watching this Q&A, which I spent $100 in Amsterdam.